science. Our administration has forged a plan that makes available United States government guarantees to secure private sector loans to Mexico. On the Mexican peso, Mr. Boehner made some critical comments about you know, the president abandoning the congressional package. Can you categorically state for us on the record that you are, you are in support of what the president... I think I have already categorically stated on the record. I mean, my, 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 position, my position is very simple. The president had two choices. He could have decided to stick with a legislative package, which I believe would have taken two or three weeks to get through the Congress, and would have taken virtually all of his time for that period. Uh, or he could move using the, um, the uh, Exchange Stabilization Fund under his presidential authority. He had the support of a bipartisan leadership group to use his authority because it was the only practical thing to do yesterday. If you looked at what was happening in exchange markets in Latin America, the idea of, of trying to spend three weeks getting something through the Senate as the exchange markets deteriorated, I think would have been very inappropriate. I commend the president for his decisiveness. Mr. Boehner, how much resentment is there about the Plan B Mexican loan agreement? I think that the situation with Mexico is unfortunate. I think that the, uh, the action taken by the president uh, was unfortunate as well. Mr. Vice President, one of the Republican leadership team just moments ago came out to say that House Republicans are not pleased with the deal that uh, Clinton made for Mexico, that basically they wish that the president had made a greater case for it, and he said there would be hearings on the very issue. Let, me, uh, let me comment, because he's here as our guest, and I think it was very unfortunate to remember the leadership come out of it, you know, when, when the vice president's here being very helpful and very cooperative, frankly. 